Marriage, with subsequent conjugal relations and children, has far-reaching consequences for God's plan for His children on this earth. Marriage and procreation is the mechanism for passing on certain authorities and promises, both good promises called blessings and bad promises called curses. For instance, some covenants are lineal, in other cases priesthood rites are lineal, and in still other cases curses are lineal as well. For example, the covenant of Abraham followed specific matrilineal lines. Abraham and Jacob married many women, but the covenant followed through descendants of specific wives. As marriage and its sexual union is the mechanism for passing this priesthood covenant on, mortal man cannot presume to decide how that covenant is passed. The Lord decides how it is passed, meaning who will produce the offspring that will inherit the covenant. Self-selection in marriage deprives the Lord of this right to make that decision. Ecclesiastical priesthood rites can also be lineal. The Levitical priesthood is so named specifically because it was passed lineally among the members of the tribe of Levi. The Doctrine and Covenants teaches that the office of bishop is also lineally passed down from father to son among the descendants of Aaron. The office of Patriarch was also passed from father to son in ancient times. The Lord continued this lineal office in our day. Therefore, the rites of multiple types of priesthood are bestowed lineally. When and through whom the rights to these priesthoods are passed lineally is not something that a young man and woman can just decide to do on their own merely because they believe they are in love. The rights of the priesthood are of a sacred, not romantic nature. It is for the Lord to decide who will pass on the rights of these priesthoods, not young couples in love. There is also the matter of the lineal cursing. Some are of a short duration, those that last merely three or four generations. The span of other curses is well beyond a mere three or four generations, such as the curse of Ham. This curse is of particular importance to this topic as the curse prohibited his line from having the priesthood. That Ham's familial line would be denied the priesthood is not anomalous in the scriptural record. Some of those that fought against Joseph Smith were also to be denied the priesthood they and their descendants, with no limiting clause on the period of time. In brief, one cannot just up and get hitched. Some covenants are passed lineally. In other cases, priesthood rites are passed through the seed. Even a cursing, particularly a cursing related to priesthood, can be passed to the following generations all crucial factors when marriages are considered. These factors are even more important when the fact is considered that marriage within the kingdom constitutes entrance into a priesthood order. One cannot enter into the new and everlasting covenant of marriage by self-selection without reference to pre-existing covenants, priesthood rites, or cursings. The Lord, who knows and bears these things in mind, makes a selection of which man and which woman enters into this order of the priesthood.